Hello there. Um, I forgot to record an intro for this video and I'm out now, so I thought I'd just do it here. I'm in my friend Lily's bar, just in the back room. <laughs> if you can hear talking, there's, there's people, there's people. Um, more, more sanding, more filling, more tips, more tricks, but I promise you this is the final stage of the smoothing process. At the end of this video, we have a smooth, beautiful helmet ready for painting. So if you've been bearing with these videos and you're like, come on, man, I just want to see this thing finished. This is what goes into it. This is what goes into it. Um, I, I'll stop rambling. I know you want to get to it. So enjoy. Bye. Cheers. Oh, and the helmet will show you how well you're doing. So look, I've just started doing this spot, right? Pretty good. But you see there's like dark line there. That just means that area of filler is higher than here. So you just keep going over it until it blends in, until that dark line disappears. Okay, now it's of equal height to the rest of it. Right, that's all the patches done with 240. So guess what now? 400. Uh, that stage is quite hard going. It does take a little bit of focus and concentration and patience, but that's why I like it. Like you, your brain really does just shut off and you start just hyper focusing on things and not in a detrimental, annoying thought brain way, in a like feeling way. You start to feel what you're doing and it, that bus becomes relaxing. That's why I love it. Right, I'm gonna do this all over in 400 now. And again, going a little bit wider to reduce those scratches caused by the heavier grit sandpapers. And just go over, take your time, but it, it, it's getting easier now because it's getting finer. Right, I've done it all in 400, all the patches. Now, finally, 600. I know it is painful and menial, a painful and meaningful needle task but it's so worth it when you get to the end and you're like i have made this helmet as smooth as it possibly can be and i am proud of that i'm proud of myself for doing that so just get going it's fine right i've done it all in 600 now so all super smooth i've focused on all the patchy areas but what i'm gonna do just before i respray it is just go over the whole helmet again in 600 uh, which I know sounds like, what? Even more? But no, it's, it will take me two seconds and why not? It's not gonna hurt. It's gonna help blend everything in a bit more and spot any potential like micro uh, dips, like imperfections that I've not seen. Just so I, I know that when I spray it again, I've done the best job I can at this stage. And once you've sprayed it, the gray primer again, you're probably not gonna get any more holes at this stage. Uh, you may just, it may just highlight any, you know, I said like edges where you just need to sand down a little bit more. Or if you do this stage, that minimizes that risk. So you might not, it might just be totally perfect and ready for painting. So here we go. Just going to do, honestly, really quick. And again, look, I'm doing this, right? And you see how it's not, you see how here it's just like light gray, but then here you've got little dabbles. That just means they are micro imperfections that I've now highlighted. So I just go over it a bit more. Until it's all the same tone of light gray, I've got rid of them. That's why I do this stage. Ah, you thought I was just mental, didn't you? Well, I'm not saying I'm not, but. Right, I'm gonna do that. It's gonna take me five seconds. Here we go. Okay, that's done. I've sanded the entire helmet, all the patches in 600 and all the surrounding, the entire helmet, everything in 600. It is now smooth as. Look at that, you can feel it. Oh my God. Like a lady. Right, here we go. Dust it off. Right. I'm just gonna warm this up because my workshop is absolutely freezing because I live in the UK and I live in Yorkshire, which is basically Winterfell. And uh, the paints wanna be room temperature. Normally I put, in winter, I put them in a bucket of hot water so that they're good to go when I reach in, but I haven't done that. So I'm just gonna go and warm this up two sets. All right, good. So spray it in exactly the same way you've already done it. Make sure you've got your stands ready, hold it in one area that's pretty firm and safe. Do all the underside bits.
pop it on your stand, make sure where your hand has been you can get to. Then have it dead straight, do all the downy bits. Now do all the front on bits. And the reason I do it this way is not just so I um, kind of methodically make sure I get every surface and I don't miss any bits. It also minimizes overspray. Primer is not such an issue, but when you get down to like shiny stuff and black and gloss and lacquers and stuff, think about it. If I spray just this direction and try and get the whole helmet, there's going to be overspray across like the top, which is tiny little dots, which dry hard and you can see them. So you want your layer of paint to be as even as possible. So if you do each direction uh, individually, you, it helps to minimize that and so you can see it, if that makes sense. Look at that, smooth as a baby's bum. Look at it, beautiful. Right, so that is literally how you fill a helmet and get it ready for paint. So you can paint this whatever you like now. If you're building like a Boba, pro, pro, a Boba Fett prototype or a Death Watch helmet uh, or a Django like I am, or you can do a custom Mando, like you can do any paint job you wish on this helmet and make it your own. But this is how you smooth it. This is how you prep a 3D print and how you smooth it and get it ready for paint. Look, I've now got a beautiful prop that I can do anything I want with. I am going to turn it into a Django because it's for a customer. So the next video will be the paint steps. I'm just splitting them up so they're easier and, and more manageable and you don't get bored. Um, if you are interested in making your own helmet, just jump on my website, jeddahworkshop.co.uk. Uh, the link is in the description below. It's also in my bio. Just click straight there. Have a look. Get yourself a kit and uh, just just do it. Just try it. It is so much fun. I can't I can't express how much fun it is. Yes, it takes work. It takes time. But what I've done that in like two days, and it only took me like two hours yesterday, maybe an hour today. So that's it's not really two days. It's like three hours. Just split it up over your week. Build a helmet. Build a few helmets. Make your own collection that are like way better than Hasbro or Black Series and helmets you can't even get because they've not made them yet. But it, like I love buying Star Wars stuff. I've, I don't own any Black Series obviously because I don't need to, I make my own. But I don't have anything against them. I, they're beautiful, they're Star Wars helmets, they're wicked. But there's something completely different to looking up on your shelf and with a collection of helmets and going, I made every one of these and I'm proud of them and they're amazing. And I love them every time I see them. It's just wicked. Anyway, uh, I'll catch you on the next video. It will be paint. Uh, we're almost done here. Well, I need to do the accessories and all that, but I'll show you those in separate videos as well. Thank you very much for watching. I am Ash from Jedi Workshop. Hope you have a wonderful evening, night, day, weekend, month, year, life, wherever you are. Namaste. This is the way. Peace.